What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. There's a brand new card out right now uh, that you can purchase. It is called uh, the Go Nuts. It costs three, it's a two, two, and it's a team up. And when you play a team up plant, all team up plants get plus one. I'm gonna make some decks with this. I already bought it, but I'm gonna show it in the early access event today. Uh, also, if you take a look, uh, I don't know if it's still there for me because I already bought it, but there is, yeah, there it is. There's the back to school bundle. You get the uh, Zombology teacher. I'll showcase the Zombology, uh, Zombology teacher tomorrow, and we'll take a look at that. Have a lot of fun with that, hopefully. And uh, so, also, season four has started. Uh, I actually, my rank reset down to 20 because of it, and I now have a little baseball looking thing with a taco. <laughs> so just note that um, I don't know that I will I mean uh, without the the presence of like a ton of new cards I'm not doing daily showcases anymore so I don't know when, when the next time I will get to ultimate league I hope it's soon um, but we're gonna go ahead now and showcase this card in the early access event it's the go nuts so sure let's go nuts with uh, beta caratina's amphib beam assault strategy deck could work could be awesome We'll see if it's awesome. I hope it is awesome. So, Go Nuts loves other plants with team up. Beta Caratina's Amphibine Assault Strategy Deck has plenty to go around. All right, so we're gonna see how this works. This looks like an okay start. I'm gonna go ahead and do that though. So let's see who all has team up. Now, this is when when you play a team up plant, all team up plants get plus one. That's great. So, is this a team up? No, I'm gonna play this. There we go, and they all get plus one, so now that's five damage unless he does something about it this turn. He's drawing two cards, so he's gonna take five damage, I'm gonna take three. Got him. All right, excellent. And then now what I wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, that guy has team up as well, doesn't he? Fantastic. Boom! Now, I, again, I don't know what he's gonna do to me. He's gonna move that guy, uh-oh. He's gonna deal four damage to this guy, that's fine. That's a fair trade, I'll take it. He's gonna block this one. He's not gonna block that one. It is 17 to 10. It's a pretty good strategy here. Uh, yikes, so he's gonna move to a random lane. So how does this work? I guess what I could do is I could put out, hope he moves maybe over to somewhere else. Darn. So this is uh, when played move another plant or zombie. So I'm gonna play this. And uh, I guess I'll move this guy here. That way if he moves to another lane, he's gonna have to, oh uh, what? Oh, he did, he did not move. Oh well, that's fine. <laughs> I thought it was gonna move, um, but I guess. Hmm. So this is. Yeah, I don't know. That's fine. It's fine. It's okay. We'll figure this out. We'll, we're just learning as we go along. Boom. All right, twelve to three. This is uh, amphibious pencil plus two. Oh jeez. Um. Pincer get double strike. Plus two, minus two. Yikes, how do, how do I want to handle this? I don't know that I do want to handle it, yikes. Um, well, here's how I want to do this, actually. Uh, again, no, this doesn't really work out for me, does it? Let's put this here. There we go, that guy won't be able to move now. I'll do it, let's see what happens. All right, I get the sun, it doesn't matter. The summon doesn't matter, this hits me, sure. But you can't move. This guy's for five. I hit for two and win. That was a close one, really. It really was. But that's an interesting feature, right? Everyone getting plus plus one or whatever. I think so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna showcase some decks that I'm gonna make with it. Uh, go nuts. There it is. Go nuts. All right, guys. So uh, just so we know, uh, the go nuts is not a guardian. I thought it might be a guardian at first, but it's a smarty plant. 
And again, if you're looking at uh, what it does, it affects plants with team up, or you know, it, it, when you play a team up, as long as there's a go nuts out there, everyone gets plus one. So I'm thinking to myself, when making a deck, you're gonna want team up plants who have a high health because you know if they just have you know one defense, you know, but they get a plus one. I mean, it's not that amazing because anything can take them out. So something with high health could be really useful. So that means any of the, the like the zero six or the zero eight nuts. Um, so we're looking at guardian plants. We take a look at, uh, not, not the deck. So we take a look at, a uh, uh, team up. So we're just going to search for team. These are the plants that we're talking about here. So guardian and smarty, a lot to choose from. Uh, but another one could bloom. I mean, this thing is two team ups in one, right? Actually, it's just one team up. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just, <laughs> just one team up, but it's an automatic team up for just one cost. Um, also, uh, this you make another 1-1 uh, Puff Shroom a team-up. So that's a team-up thing. This is also um, a team-up environment as well. So if we're talking about environments, those are the two team-up environments. So uh, we're looking at either Smarting and Kabloom or Smarting and Guardian. So we just showcase something with Smarting and Guardian with the Beta Caratina. Uh, Citron's the same way. And then uh, Nightcap is uh, Smarty Kaboom. So I've made some decks for those. Uh, Nightcap, I made a thing based off entertaining effects. Uh, called entertaining go nuts. <laughs> Basically, you know, I hope to leverage this. This is a great, this is a wonderful card to go with it because it's a team up plant, and when you play it, you conjure another team up. So that's a great thing to do. Um, and so I'm gonna make sure to have those in my deck. And then, furthermore, other than the environments, if we're talking about uh, cards that are good in terms of team up, the the nuts obviously are good. And then uh, if we take a look at my Beta K Tina deck, did I make a Citron one? I did. I did. I based. I made a Citron one, kind of based on the uh, the Make a Splash deck, because it has four of these Cosmic Beans in there. Uh, but one thing for, especially for Beta Caratina, on this one that I made from scratch, this is. Uh, I just called this one Go Nuts. Basically, the Garlic is one of the best ones because it already has one, and so it'll be a two-five when played as long so long as this guy's out here. So, I also put in a couple of these uh, photosynthesizer. Okay, great. <laughs> Uh, because it gives plus two will help keep them alive a little bit longer. So a lot of uh, interesting things I also made uh, just like we saw in the challenge. I made an Amphib Bean Go Nuts deck just like we saw in the challenge. So I have those two decks to showcase. One for Citron based on Make a Splash and then one for Nightcap. Uh, let's start with Beta Caratina since that's what we just did. I'm going to do the Amphib Bean Go Nuts that we basically just showcased. And uh, we're going to see how this works in Ranked. All right, here we go. Like I said, the ranks reset, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Um, what do we got going on? This looks like a good start, mainly because we already have the uh, the go nuts, uh, which I might end up waiting until you know, since everything's. Kind of, ooh, what's this? This is uh, conjure two tricks. I like that. I'm gonna start off with conjuring two tricks. Here we go. Beautiful, right? Nice. This is uh, all plants on heights and environments get plus two, plus two. Could definitely see that being used. So this person's going with the card draw. I'm going to hold off a little bit and play Go Nuts a little bit later, I think. Maybe. Maybe I can go ahead and put something down now. I might just put this down uh, right here just to block whatever this is. I did that in the totally, totally wrong order, didn't I? That's okay. All right. That's fine. Okay. So how do I want to handle this? I don't like the strike through. This is uh, a pirate hurts the plant hero. This pirate gets plus one, plus one. So obviously I could block it, uh, and I might want to. And I'm going to probably do this. Let's do this. And then let's do this. I'm going to get hit with a strike through of two. Got him out of there. There we go. So now I can definitely make use of this when I want to. Man, this is tough though, because I feel like I'm, I'm under a lot of pressure right now. All amphibious plants get plus one, plus one. I might do that. There we go. I'll take the four damage just to get rid of this two here. And then I'm going to really start doing the, the team up stuff next turn with the go nuts. We'll see how it pans out, but I think it's going to be fine. All 
All right, nice block. This is uh, conjure a uh, conjure it. Do it. Now this thing will have team up too as well, I think, right? Wow. So yeah, this has amphibious and team up. Could be really useful. If next round is round five, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. So here we go. Oh yeah, this is good. So I'm gonna play this, I think. Let's be patient though. Okay, I'm gonna play this. And then, um, I guess I'll play this now. It's gonna give, it, look, that's seven in the amphibious lane. So he's gonna move actually, which is scary. I'm gonna get hit for nine. Oh, I did not like that idea, but it's gonna happen. So, sure, I'm gonna get hit for nine. Let's see what happens. But that leaves him way open. That's seven there. That's seven there. He's one hit away. I could play a bean and probably just take him out. So, let's consider that option. Yeah, I think I'm gonna win here. I think. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna bounce this guy. He blocked it. Darn, he blocked it. That's okay. I got another bean coming out. Ugh, movement does a bonus attack. Thankfully, I have another bean. Blocked. Uh, no, I'm gonna play the bean. <laughs> so there we go. There's the uh, final attack right there. You get to see the benefit of Go Nuts. I did like a lot of death, uh, a lot of, not death, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of damage. And that's a victory for me as Plants Beta, Car beta Caratina trying out that deck. We'll do the other Beta Caratina deck as well that I made that's a completely original configuration and we'll see how it works. I already showcased it, but we'll see how it works. Here we go. I'm ready for this. Let's see what happens. Uh, again, this looks like another great start. It's just kind of a, a matter of getting up to the round three, four, five that where I can actually start using them. So let's see. But I can actually, um, round two, I'm going to want to play maybe something to protect him. Yeah, round two, I'll play something. For now, I'm going to go ahead and summon two tricks, see what they are. I like this uh, this superpower. Okay, nice. Actually, uh, being able to destroy a zombie that's four or more could be really useful. Especially if I do team up and put him in front of this dude with a bunch, so let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't know what he's gonna do. He's probably gonna move me over there. Probably. I think it's I think it's if I if it's what I think it is, it's gonna be move this zombie, right? Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna fall for it anyway. Just for the summoning. To be a very basic setup. Yeah, when reveal, move the plant. I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen like this. He's gonna move me in front of him, so sure, I'll take it. He's now a 3-3, it's okay. Got me. So yeah, this is just really tough to know what to do in situations like this. Pretty much the only thing I can think to do. Um, and I think this is valid, is to uh, block this guy for now, and then block this guy for now. Next turn, maybe use uh, the sham rocket on him. All right, like I said, this is tough, but we're gonna hopefully make some good decisions here soon. All right. I can always wait to use the sham rocket. Oh God. Oh man, I cannot wait to get something else. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. The sham rocket on him. I don't want him there. I'm just going to have to live with this, so here we go. I feel like I can't play the Go Nuts until like much later than I would like to. That's what it seems, at least. There you go, nice. Yeah, Conjure, it has team ups, this is great. Oh, doubled mint, this would be very fun. I'm probably going to end up bouncing that guy who has four. Probably.
And this is just so tough. Oh god, okay. So yeah, I can definitely see myself bouncing the guy who has four right now. To what end though? I don't know. Um, there he goes. I have so many cards and I have so many plays available, it's just taking me a long time to get to them. But soon I'm going to be able to maybe hopefully overwhelm. I mean, it's 12 to 20. I've not been managing this very good. So we'll see what happens. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm going to gladly get rid of all of those. This will be uh, four damage here next door. That'll be great for this lane. Like I said, this is very tough. This is uh, this is very tough for me. I'm trying to get this under control, but it is not going how I see it. So, alright, you hit me. You got me good. This guy team up. I got, that guy has amphibious and team up. I totally just realized that. So I can play something pretty fantastic here. Hopefully we see this. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. All these sports things. God. Okay. This is so tough. Oh my god. This is brutal. This is absolutely brutal for me. Okay, so, um, you know what we're gonna do. Uh, <laughs> Gosh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. There's no way that this is gonna work out. So this is going in. This is going in. This is going in. And let's just hope I survive this, because uh, I gotta block one of these upcoming hits. I think I'm gonna lose this one, honestly. I'm not so sure this is the ideal deck to make, but I made it. Uh, do I have to do this? Oh god, I could have played it. What was I thinking? It's okay. I'll play it next time. Sure. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. This is going to be awful. Mm -hmm. I can only think of like one thing to do. So this is here. This guy is here. This is, this, I mean, like, this is not gonna go so well, is it? All right, this is a, the best I got, honestly. I don't know what he's gonna do to me, but this is the best I have. Okay, the frenzy is gonna ruin it. <laughs> the frenzy's, yeah, the seven's gonna kill me. Okay. Uh, okay, so very tough stuff. I think the major problem I'm having is I'm just having a hard time figuring out how I'm supposed to. Uh, the go nuts is, is a mid to late game thing. You're not going to get a huge advantage. I'm going to try this deck again and see how it goes. Uh, I did lose. That's okay. But I'm going to try this deck again and see if I can make it work. And then if so, I'm going to move on to the next one. So here we go. Go nuts. Let's try it again. This deck may not may not be properly made. <laughs> that's the other op that's the other uh, aspect of it. So let's see what happens here. No go nuts on me right now, but a lot of cheap things. Uh, I was really hoping to get the go nuts. Let's see what happens. I think I am gonna have to kind of go aggro on this, kind of rush things out and see what happens, and just prepare to play the go nuts whenever. Although my incl inclination is to play, wait to play him because anything you play after him causes, uh, you know, the, the the boost. So, not sure how to handle that. I think it's largely going to depend on what Pro Mode 16 here does. 
if anything. You gonna quit? No, he's here. Okay, good. Uh, you know, I'm gonna save it. Sure, I'll save. I'll do. I'll do. Water chestnut next turn. I don't know. Just waiting. All right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm waiting for. Come on. Okay, yeah, this is always the scare, the scared part. So this is this is where this gets fun, uh, is that I can play this and I can circumvent him because I can move him to me. If I move him to me, uh, then uh, he doesn't get the plus one plus one. So let's see what happens here. Oh crap. Okay, that's what happens. Darn it. Fine. I should have put the garlic in front of him. Right now he has frenzy. Okay. Not entirely sure how to handle this, but okay. Gosh, that thing. All right, so I'm gonna make a spot to eventually put him behind. And I'll put him here as well. So let's see what needs to happen. Of course. Dang it. He's now a 3-3. Three, three. I'm gonna probably bounce him the next time I get a shot. All right. So I have an idea of what I wanna do. If it works. Now, if he gets boosted, it's gonna be a real nightmare. Darn it, he might get boosted. I guess it could be a real nightmare here. Let's go ahead and just uh, put this here. This is a fun, fun way to do it, right? This team up effort. Okay, he can't be hurt this turn, that's fine. Okay, all zombies get plus two, that's fine. I will bounce that guy as soon as I can. He just beefed up too much. Too, much, too many resources have been poured into him. So I'm gonna try to bounce him soon. I don't know when, but soon. I'm probably gonna block this, so. This is a good enough start for me. There we go. How's this? This looks good to me. Let's see what happens. Darn it. Of course. So this guy's dead. I hope to block this three. Nope. All right, I'll block the next three then. This is like the ultimate team up because it's like three team ups at once. So all my stuff is basically team ups. Pretty cool if you ask me. I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy here. Then just put this guy, I guess, up in front. Again, I don't know what all's gonna happen. That guy can't be hurt, that's fine. But look how much look how strong all my team up stuff is. It's great. I'm gonna block this, which is wonderful. Blocked. Conjure it. Yeah, this guy's team up and amphibious. I can put him in the amphibious lane. Oh, nice. Gone. Gone. And then five damage here. Not blocked. I'm going to not block mine either. But So this this is where it kind of gets funny for me. Is that I will probably bounce one of these guys. Not sure which one. I might actually do... Uh, I might actually do this. Uh, and move this guy over to me. And then uh, maybe even bounce. I'm actually gonna play him right up here. And then bounce you. There we go. Now he's gonna probably block this big hit, but I got several big hits coming. 
So this has been working out for me okay. That's fine. That's fine. That doesn't do much for me. He's a 5-5. Five, five. Okay, that's that's effective actually. Blocked. This is a heal. Heal six or something. Oh man, god dang dude. I don't know if I can weather this storm. Maybe not, no. I'm gonna get him. He's gonna blow up and I got him, there we go. Then that's a victory right there. So okay, we won that one. That that one showcased much more better, I thought. Uh the go nuts capabilities, so I'm not sure what happened previous round, but that round I got to have a victory. So now let's switch over to um, let's switch over to a Citron deck. All right, uh, so I'm gonna try this. This is the uh, the Go Nuts deck that I made with the Amphibious Base deck of the Citron. I'm gonna cycle this out. It's kind of pricey. I'll get rid of this too. All right, this isn't so bad. I am worried about going up against this person though, higher rank than me. Oh jeez. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just directly attack it. I'm gonna try this and see what happens. I might be able to deal with her pretty quick if she plays a pet. Uh, you know, especially with the uh, the spike weed thing going on here. So yeah, there's the pet aspect. Um, with that said though, she's dead no matter what, so I'm gonna play it here. Here we go, this is good, this is good. This is a good start for me, honestly. Good defense. All right. Um, what do I want to do? I'll try this. This puts uh, this puts me at the. I mean, she has to deal with the environment or the whatever I play there. Yeah, she's changing the environment, which is fine because I still have four unblocked, and I can use that as protection for my. Uh... Well, this guy has team up, right? The go nuts. And uh, I might do this. Sure, why not? Why not? I'll draw a card, right? Nice. All right. This is pretty good. She's gonna have a lot of extra brains, but I'm gonna try to take. I mean, if I'm lucky, I'll take him out. Uh, she might play somewhere else, but yeah. So she's ha she's opening that up for next round. Oh please. Darn it, whatever. Okay, so he's still alive, unfortunately. That means she doesn't get the extra brains next turn either, so that could work out really well for me. Hmm. With that said, no idea what that's gonna be, so we're gonna go ahead and drop that down there, and I'm gonna block whatever it is. So I'm gonna block this. Okay, she's out of cards. She's not gonna draw a card from this, so this is pretty cool. A plant gets plus two and can't be hurt this round. I'm gonna give it to you, honestly. Go nuts is gonna maybe need a little bit more. All right, this is great for me. I'm doing really well with this. This guy's bullseye, not team up. So again, this could be really beneficial for me, but at the same time, I'm gonna try to be a little bit, a little patient with it. I'm gonna try to uh, leverage the fact that I can uh, plants here can't be hurt this turn, and then also uh, try to block, try to prevent this guy from living too long. Actually, no, I'm gonna do this. Nice. Any gravestones that are played. So I have a five in the amphibious lane, which is really good for me. She only has two cards. I'm not sure why she didn't replace the, uh, she needs cards is why. So she's gonna do damage there, draw cards, do damage to me, draw cards. 
With that said, I could easily win this because I'm going to do six damage in the middle. I'm not sure why she did it like this. Uh, and then I could very easily win with this one. Victory! All right. Very cool. So, uh, with that said, let's showcase the nightcap deck that I made. Because I made the nightcap deck, I think it's going to have some awesome features. Let's see what happens. All right, this is the nightcap deck that I've made. Um, and it should be pretty useful. Gosh, everything's so expensive, though. Stop it. It's too expensive. What the crap? <laughs> All right. God, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to play into late game like this. So let's see what happens. Well I can play this. Sure. Just bring him out. Who cares what happens? We will find out. We will be determined to find out. Here we go. Alright, round two. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Nope, me neither. I can't wait, though, until round five. I'm going to maybe bounce two of his things with the fact that I can do a jumping beam on top of the uh, pair paradise. Let's see what he's going to do. God. Okay, fine. Sure. Freeze him. Why not? He's going to keep growing, isn't he? But I'll bounce him. Don't worry. I'll bounce him eventually. He's going to block this, too. Okay, that's fine. I'll get to him eventually. It's 20 to 15. Uh, so no, I'm not gonna do this, this thing yet. It's okay, we'll figure it out. Okay, that's scary. It's scary, but I'm gonna, again, this is gonna be so beautiful. I think you're gonna really love this. Uh, he's gonna bounce. He doesn't have any brains, this is great. So that guy bounces, right? I think so. Pair of Paradise is gonna be so crazy. I don't have a lot of team up right now, so I don't know if I wanna play uh, Go Nuts right now. So here we go, that's there. This guy is, you know, he's big. Obviously. Now he bounces, so we'll see what happens. It's a 5 6. Yeah, I'm going to bounce them both. Why not? If that makes sense to bounce them both, does it make sense to bounce them both? I could always be a little patient though, right? Um, it makes sense. Let's bounce him. He's gonna move over here. There we go. Bounce everybody. This is great, because what happens is I, uh, he's probably gonna block this six though. I don't know for sure. It'd be great if he doesn't, but it could. He didn't. Wow. All right. Let's see what happens then. This is exciting. There's some real excitement now. I'm pumped. Um, the easiest thing to do would be... He only has one card. No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He has millions of cards. That's right. I wish it showed all the cards that he had, but it doesn't. That's okay. Freeze him and uh, sure, go ahead and put this guy behind him. Here we go. This could be really good. So starting next round, I'll start getting the benefits of the team up. He's gonna destroy a plant with Tarni. He's whatever. It's okay. So that's a cancel right here. This is a cancel as well. 
I don't know what he's, I don't have any team ups really, so this is just one of those things where it's like, okay, don't have any team ups. Again, what do I do? All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try. This is gonna trigger it. He blocked it, sure. Obviously he blocked it. Oh, come on. God dang it. It's fine, because I'll get the Pair of Paradise again. It'll be fine. I'll get to leverage the Pair of Paradise once more. Brainana will be beautiful if he doesn't play it. If he doesn't play much, I'm going to play the Brainana. If he does play a lot, I'll probably play... Uh. Okay, here's what here's what I'm going to do. He's still I don't know how many brains he has left, but I'm going to freeze freeze the gravestone. And then I will play uh Uh, I'm gonna play this. Oh, he can't be hurt this time. That's fine. He's frozen anyway. So he's gonna do three damage to me. I'm just kind of waiting on the best time to play this Brainana. All right. Uh, now what? Nice. The bounce, the bounce, the double bounce is gonna be phenomenal again. If it doesn't play like anything, I know to play the Brain Anna, but the double bounce is going to be quite phenomenal here. Unless I need to do that instead, but I think the double bounce is going to be even more beneficial. So I bounce him. I get this going on. I get to bounce him. Pretty good, and then I get to freeze all gravestones. I mean, this couldn't go much better. <laughs> all right. Nice. He spent most of his brains doing that. We'll see what happens. I could, I could maybe win it here. Oh, he's healing for six. Uh, still, I could maybe win it. Yeah, I could maybe win this. It just depends. Let's see how it plays out. That doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter. All right. There we go. Victory. Now that's what I like. Here we go. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching me play Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. Come back next time. We're going to showcase uh, the Zombology Teacher or whatever it's called. What's it called? I think it's called the Zombology Teacher. It is called, drum roll, please. Actually, let's end it on something else. Uh, hold on. It's called... Teacher's pet. What is it called? It's called. Is it teacher? Zombology teacher. There we go. That's what I'll showcase next episode. This is a two-one. It costs one. Zombies trick costs one less. Let's end it though with puzzle party because we have another uh, go nuts thing. You have one turn to figure out how to defeat the smash using a bunch of walls with no strength. Pineapple and go nuts will help, but only if you play them correctly. So one turn to do this, huh? So, I mean, I think I know what I want to do with this at least. Um, I think. Um, let's just try what I think it wants. Oh, dang it. Wait. This is plants with no strength and plus two. Doesn't matter. Here we go. I mean, why wouldn't this work anyway, right? This looks pretty big. This should easily work. 
the numbers are there. Oh no, he has 30. Oh man, gosh, no, he's not, the numbers aren't there. The numbers aren't there. I, I'm sorry. I thought I thought he had. I did not see that he had so much health. I saw the 15. So yeah, that's obviously the wrong order to do it in. And I knew that initially, but then I thought, wait, he only has 15. I saw I saw the 15. I thought he only has 15 health, but no. That's how many brains he has. Let me try again. All right, let's try again. So this is a little bit confusing, honestly, to me. This is pretty confusing um, because what I want to do is just right off the bat, huh? I'm not, you know, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, it seems like I would play this, and then all the other plans get team up. It should work. But I'm not sure why it would do something different. So, this guy doesn't have plans of no strength at plus two. Oh, you know what it is? All I, all I need to do is give this guy the plus two. So, he needs to go first. To give him the plus two. And that's the only difference, because I I, th I guess I lost by two last time, right? So now he has plus two. Now I can play this guy. Now I do this, just like before. That's the only change. That's the only change, I believe. I think. Let's see if it works. It seems like it should. So here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 8. There we go. That was the only change I needed to do. So very cool. Thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. I'll definitely see you then. And uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Good riddance. No, <laughs> goodbye. Thank you for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.